It's a real problem in the world at the moment. Um, it's changing dramatically. Climate change is happening. It's going to make areas where hitherto people had lived in a reasonable way are actually going to be extremely difficult and unresilient to changes, not just climate change, but also the other demanding problems of food, water and energy security. We've had four international workshops in Johannesburg, Istanbul, Kathmandu and Bangladesh. And to cap that all, of course, there were 350 or so um, people from around the world, from about 35 different countries who committed to it. So it's a truly international effort. There are three headline things that the reporters turned up. One is that millions of people are migrating already. Most people migrate for a range of reasons. It is really difficult to separate out a group who you would call environmental migrants. A second thing is that quite a surprisingly large number of people are unable to migrate. So you could think of them as being trapped in areas that are environmentally vulnerable. And that leads to a third conclusion of the report, which is that just as migration is taking people away from areas of environmental risk, it's also often taking people towards areas that are more vulnerable to global environmental change. Migration is going to be a fact of life during the 21st century, particularly, of course, internal migration within countries. There are many positive benefits from it. Communities uh, find ways to migrate, to diversify their incomes, to make their communities more resilient and more sustainable. A significant proportion of people move to cities and to nearest towns to deal with the impacts of floods. So the key issues for policy are issues around making cities more sustainable, um, in protection gaps for um, migrants themselves, and in reducing conflicts and tensions associated with uh, movement of people from one place to another. It's important to recognise not just the challenges, but the opportunities that it can present.